Hello friends and family and welcome to our August 31st Monday edition of Boring Meditation Stuff. Today I wanted to talk about Nirvana, um, mostly in context of a video I did recently that was very long and detailed an online conversation mostly between beginners about meditation practice and mental health and um, the idea that meditation can potentially exacerbate mental health issues. Um, the conversation was largely revolving around serious meditation and um, kind of people's experiences or maybe just their conjecture. Um, the difficulty with conversations like this is that a lot of the literature on meditation is addressed to um, the higher stages of meditation. So there are uh, discrete stages um, which we all seem to go through. They seem very consistent. Um, they seem to be lined up in the same order for everybody. It's not like you get to st skip a stage. Um, it's not as though they're made up. Uh, they seem to be facts, <laughs> um, whatever they are. And there is this final stage that's often acknowledged um, in different meditation traditions called Nibbana or Nirvana or moksha or whatever you call it um, and there is this terminology that seems to have emerged uh, in the west mostly um, ego death um, i only hear this from white people on the internet basically i <laughs> i've never heard this term or a translatable equivalent in sanskrit or pali or any Indic language or um, Southeast Asian language, uh, for that matter. The idea, though, is coherent, like the idea of um, ridding oneself of one's ego. And by ego, we are not talking about the Freudian um, kind of psychiatric or psychological concept. Um, the psychology of these meditation practices which describe an ego describe an ego which is the identity we uh, see for ourselves the self um, so what might be more accurate would be self death not ego death but um, the death of that death of one's own identity um, and it's a very difficult process to go through, um, even in the beginnings. And I can only speak to the beginnings because I have never experienced nirvana. I've never experienced ego death or selflessness or any of these states. These are very, very high states. Um, and I spoke a few days ago about ethics and how the foundation of ethics makes a person's meditation practice much, much stronger. And there is a reason that people choose to become monastics. So you might choose to become a monastic because you really want to establish this foundation. And it is very likely, um, if not almost a certainty, uh, once you start exploring um, the meditative states, that this is a likely prerequisite for these very high states of meditation that if your life still involves the possibility of saying something rude telling a lie lusting over someone you should not um, harming other creatures you know, directly or indirectly um, that you will not reach these higher states of meditation it is simply not possible so when people talk um, about nirvana, nibbana, 
ego death, whatever you want to call it. Um, vimutti, moksha, all of these concepts are fairly far removed from us. So if you're worried that you are going to go for a 10-day Vipassana course or a 60-day Vipassana course, <laughs> um, which exist, and experience Nibbana, um, it is unlikely. Uh, you are unlikely to reach these states as a lay person. Possible, but, but unlikely. And so um, it's probably important that we, we try to find some middle ground. So there's this conversation where on one side we have meditation for being better at work, meditation for better sleep, and all these are incredibly mundane things. And on the other side, we have like ego death and nirvana and these high, high ideas of mental states and changes to our own biology. Um, and most of us are probably somewhere over here, right? Like we're, we're looking to be nicer people. We're looking to sleep a little better at night. Um, that's why we're meditating, but we can meditate more seriously um, and still be quite far away from Nibbana or any of these other um, terms which refer to this kind of closing state final state of meditation. Um, it should be pointed out that in all the systems I'm aware of, these terms refer to a final state. You might come out of that final state, but from that state, there's nowhere to go. Um, you're, that's the highest meditative state there is, um, which makes it extremely unlikely that <laughs> people arguing on the internet have ever experienced anything like this. Um, so uh, I would encourage you to dial back <laughs> the conversation regarding uh, ego death and, and nirvana and things like this and focus on the more practical aspects of your meditation. Am I feeling healthier? Am I helping more people? Um, am I myself being helped by the meditation? These are the important initial questions, um, not those kind of high philosophies, as it were. I hope everyone is having or had a good Monday and uh, that you're taking good care of yourselves and everyone around you. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.